Hey gang, Eric Shane Flood here with Local Marketing Institute, bringing you another tip to help local businesses market themselves online. If you're not yet a subscriber to our email newsletter, I really encourage you to go to localmarketinginstitute.com and sign up there so you never miss one of these tips or an invitation to our weekly webinars. Today, we're gonna to focus on what your website looks like when people share it on social media. So take a look at this. I was about ready to do a post on Facebook uh, about High Hops Brewery. I just went down there. They have an awesome new uh, beer release that they did and I wanted to share it with my network. So I wrote this post, put a link to their URL and this preview came up. I noticed something. The image doesn't look great. The title doesn't look good. And the description is okay, but you know I don't know that they necessarily want to highlight the fact that they're you know not a doggy or child daycare. They probably want to highlight some other information about their business when it's actually being shared on social media. It's just a snippet. So there's a way that you can look to see exactly what your website will look like when it's shared on social media. On Facebook, there's something called the Facebook sharing debugger. Just do a Google search for that. We'll also put the link to all three of these tools in the show notes below. But go out to the Facebook sharing debugger and put in the URL of your website and click the debug button. This is going to show you in advance exactly what this web page is going to look like when someone shares it on Facebook. By the way, this works for Instagram as well. But if you notice this, Here's what it looks like, and indeed, that's identical to what I saw when I was getting ready to do a social media post about High Hops Brewery. Um, so this isn't optimal. You can actually control the social media image, you can control the social media title, and you can control the social media description through the use of certain open graph tags. That's a session for a whole webinar we may do down the road, but for right now, just know you can control this through open graph tags, whether you're on WordPress, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace. Uh, it's easier in some systems than others, but this is controllable. Go out there though, check your website on the Facebook sharing debugger and see what it looks like if someone shares your website to other people on social media. Twitter has the same thing. It's called the card validator. You can just go to the card validator, you can enter in your URL right there, and it's going to give you a preview of what your website will look like if it's shared on Twitter. In this case, the image doesn't even come up. It's a good title, pretty good description. I think it's pulling that from the actual um, meta title and meta description in the actual web page here. You can do the same thing on LinkedIn. It's called the LinkedIn Post Inspector. Just go ahead and put in the URL, click Inspect, and it will show you what your website will look like if someone shares it on LinkedIn. In this case, not a very good uh, image at all. The title is just home. This isn't great. So you can control this. Let me show you what it looks like when you actually do put in the right open graph tags on your website. We've done it for Local Marketing Institute. So this is what it looks like when someone shares the Local Marketing Institute on Facebook. We specifically set this image with our logo, with our tagline, and we actually have set the title down here. On Twitter, it comes up the same way. It's using the image we set, the title we set, the description that we set, and on LinkedIn, it's doing the same thing. It's pulling the image we specifically set and the title we specifically set. So you can control what your website looks like on social media. Go out, use one of these three tools, check it out, and then get a hold of your web development company or if you're working with Weebly or Squarespace or Wix, get a hold of their tech support and ask how you can control the open graph tags on your website so that your website shows up great when someone shares it to one of these social media networks.